Labor Day 2017 will be like no other. You see, this year, we are gonna restore, we are gonna preserve, we are gonna beautify our beautiful island, Jamaica. Labor, the blood, sweat, and tears of the Jamaican worker, has been the platform for the construction of our society. Indeed, I declare that Jamaica was built by labor. We want to use this year's observance to provide an opportunity for the engagement of the wider populace on matters related to productivity, work ethic, and industrial relations. In keeping with the theme, the ministry, in collaboration with the Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions, will undertake the restoration and beautification of the Workers' Monument in downtown Kingston. Our other activities include a seminar on the upcoming OSH Act and Centenarians Day observance on May 19th. In fact, our celebration on Centenarians Day will twin intergenerational connections and also honor for a working class Jamaican as we pay tribute to Mrs. Violet Brown, the world's oldest woman and Jamaica's oldest senior citizen. This year, our commemoration will also highlight in a very special way, the contribution of the right excellent Samuel Sharp and his fight for all the people of Jamaica, particularly the workers. It is an appropriate time to reflect on the value of labor to our development and use the lessons of the past to face the challenges of the future. Labor Day 2017 will play that critical role of galvanizing public interest and mobilizing communities for the celebration of our country's 55th anniversary of independence. As such, the overarching theme of Jamaica 55 celebrations, Jamaica 55, celebrating Jamaicans at home and abroad, will be used for Labor Day 2017 with a particular mission to restore, preserve, and beautify. We're urging Jamaicans to clean up and beautify their environment and landmarks, including monuments, community centers, recreational parks, and public spaces that may be used to not only stage the celebrations, but which will renew the spirit of community and togetherness. The mission to beautify communities will also include a program of configuring murals in each parish. This will kickstart the Jamaica 55 objective to produce a minimum of 55 murals throughout the island. Structures and landmarks that have preserved their historic character help to shape the tapestry of our collective memory woven with a sense of pride of our past and provide a stability or identity for the present, all adding to the sum total of what makes us uniquely Jamaican. So this Labor Day, ladies and gentlemen, we dedicate our energies to restore, preserve, and beautify our national landmarks and monuments from villages, towns, and communities, through cities and parishes. This year, we have decided on two national projects for Labor Day. We are pleased to announce that the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment, and Sport will be working closely with the Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation to see to the startup of restoration work at the ward. That work will begin even ahead of Labor Day, but on May 23, we will have a massive undertaking at the site to begin well-needed work on the facade of the structure. Restoration will, over time, include renovation to changing rooms within the facility, re retrofitting of the seating within the theater, electrical and plumbing works, and installation of AC units. We're all very excited about this project, as with the proposed works to be done at Central Police Station. This is another necessary project that underscores the utmost respect that we must have for institutions such as the police stations that are central to the work undertaken by the men and women who are sworn to protect us daily. As part of Labor Day activities, 19 
substation across the island will also benefit from restoration work. This year, NEPA will launch its Million Tree Challenge. This is a call to action for all Jamaicans. It is part of NEPA's Trees for Life campaign. The Trees for Life campaign is aimed at increasing the island's biodiversity, green coverage, and our overall resilience to the impacts of climate change. So as Minister, I'm pleased to announce that in support of this Million Tree Challenge, and in recognition of the island's 55 years of independence, the Ministry has committed to planting 155 trees on Labor Day. Labor Day 2017 will be like no other. You see, this year, we're going to restore, we're going to preserve, we're going to beautify our beautiful island, Jamaica. My... I call on all Jamaicans to take on a project, no matter how small, become part of this national campaign to clean up our communities and environment. My dream, my dream is to restore the school, every park, every scheme. Preserve landmarks and murals, you say. Tell you my goal, my goal, my goal. Labor Day 2017, let's volunteer to get all of them things together. Restore, preserve and beautify.